Hey, it's Alex with Lover Fighter Writer, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make your own workflow in Closers Copy. So, uh, a workflow in Closers Copy is a series of frameworks that are designed to work together, and a workflow just kind of enables you to put them all in one place to make them easier to use at the same time. And so, if we go over here in the left menu, we have frameworks, and then we have workflows. And um, let's see, I've made one workflow so far right here. And today I'm going to make a second one and I'm going to show you how that works. So the first thing that you need to do is make the frameworks that you want to put into the workflow. And if you don't know how to make a framework yet, I actually have a video on that uh, that a lot of people have gotten a lot of benefit from. I'm going to put a card for it in this video so you can click on that but I'll also put the link in the description so if you don't know how to build frameworks yet then go and watch the frameworks video before you watch this video and then come back and watch this video but if you do know how to build frameworks already then the first step is to make the frameworks that you want to put into the workflow and uh, if I go to business in my library I've got this slogan generator which is just a small framework it was one of the first ones that I made and then I've got SWOT Analysis Helper, SWOT Analysis Helper 2, and SWOT Analysis Helper 3. And if you're not familiar with uh, the term SWOT, it stands for Strengths, Weaknesses, Opportunities, and Threats. And it's a kind of analysis that you can do on a business in order to uh, really nail down the business's strengths, weaknesses, uh, opportunities, and threats. So it's a really good way, uh, it's a good thing to do about once a year and uh, to really nail down how you can shore up your weaknesses, how you can deal with any disadvantages that you may have, and how you can uh, exploit your strengths and the existing opportunities, and so on and so forth. So anyways, these are the frameworks that I'm going to use, and uh, I will, uh, by the time I publish this video, I will have shared these in the, uh, I haven't shared them yet, but by the, by the time I publish this video, I should have shared them, and I will also share the workflow once I make that. Um, so anyways, those are the frameworks, and now I'm just going to go to workflows, and it works very similar to creating a framework. You go to new, right here, it's going to be a new workflow, and I'm going to name it SWOT Analysis Generator. It's going to go in the category Business. And now I just need to scroll down through my frameworks and find the ones that I want to add. So here they are. SWOT Analysis Helper 1, 2, and 3. And now I just click Save. And now I have my uh, my SWOT analysis generator in addition to my freelance profile generator, which is another workflow I made Which I'm going to be sharing in a separate video um, But there you go. So there's the uh, There's the SWOT analysis generator workflow and when I open the workflow You can see it's got step one step two step three and each of these is one of the frameworks so it makes it really easy to keep it all in one place and to just kind of work through them in a nice workflow and uh, use them all. Anyways, that is how you create your own workflow in Closers Copy. Uh, just a short one. It's pretty simple. Um, creating frameworks is a little bit more difficult. It's really the more, the more difficult step in creating a workflow. Uh, so again, uh, if, you have, if you don't know how to create a framework yet, uh, there's going to be a link in the description of this video that you can use to check out that tutorial. And uh, leave me a comment uh, if there's any particular thing that you need help with regarding closers copy or copywriting in general, feel free to leave me a comment and uh, I'll be happy to try and create a video that will be helpful to you. All right, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.